Good morning, everyone. It's Lori, and I am here to do your general reading. You may be influenced by Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Leo. All right. They may have some influence in your life right now. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. I have pre-shuffled the deck. Just gave it a couple more. So now I'm going to go ahead and get right into your reading. Your overall energy. There you go, my Libras. <laughs> the Tower. Queen of Swords. The Hermit. Look at that. Two major arcana already. Three major arcana. The Moon. The Chariot. That makes four. Five. The Strength card. Page of Cups. Seven of Swords. And the Star card. One, two, three, four, five, six major arcana out of nine cards. That is incredible. You guys have got a major, major life event happening right now. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. You absolutely have a huge life event happening right now. It's coming in to you very, very quickly. The Wheel of Fortune has just turned in your favor. And that's that's this is a good tower. This is a beautiful tower for all of those, for all of you who have been going through these tower moments repeatedly this year, okay, over the last year. They're becoming easier for you, and you're seeing them for what they are, epiphanies, realizations, awakenings, um, elevations to a higher understanding of how things work all right so this has come in and now you're finding that you have to um acknowledge this new thought process okay this this is becoming more and more especially for you guys my libras this card is representing you finding your authentic self you finding your inner being your soul your soul person your divine person you're finding that and you're speaking up, okay? You're speaking and living your authentic life, your authentic self, your authentic truth. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. You, okay, so you, the wheel of fortune turns in your favor. So something good comes your way. You have an awakening moment here, okay? You find the ability to rationally understand what is happening some of you may actually have to speak about this like to clear the air with somebody to set things straight okay you're going to take yourself away from like i'm hearing like a mini vacation you may go away for a weekend you may i'm hearing some of you are going to just pack up and go camping Others of you are just going to get in the car and go for a road trip wherever you end up, you end up, and then you'll spend a day or two um, doing what you're doing, and then you'll come back home. But while you're doing this, you're going to be in a meditative state of mind. So like if you're driving, you're probably going to end up wherever and not even remember the trip getting there. Please be careful. Others of you going camping, you're just going to sit out there like this on the side of a lake somewhere. Or wherever you decide to go camping. And just, you're meditating. You're looking at the beautiful vista in front of you. But you may not even really be seeing it. Because you are in a meditative state. You are connecting to your higher self. Your higher power. The divine spirits, ancestors, elevated ancestors. Whoever it is. Whatever the source is. You're connecting. This connection gives you the information that you need the aha moment the epiphany the idea the answers that you've been seeking they come to you whatever it is it comes to you and now you have the direction that you need to take okay you know what direction you need to go in now which is fantastic i am hearing and seeing that you are going to have to have um some real strength, inner strength, fortitude right now because you're going to leave someone or something behind. And that is going to be, um, it's going to be difficult to say the least, okay? There's, you're, 
what you're leaving behind here is not necessarily a bad thing in your life. This, this might be people that you get along with. This might be a job that you actually like, but you, you're expanding, okay? You've outgrown something here. Something that you thought was going to, you know, be forever. And it, it's not necessarily gone forever either. I'm definitely not feeling that. But I feel like you just are feeling a little bit like you have to tell somebody, I'm sorry, I have to focus on me right now. I have to check this out. I have to explore this. I have to learn more about this. I need to just take time um, away from what we are doing and focus on what I need to learn. There's something about learning here, okay? You need to learn something. You're expanding, so you have to get more information. But this is good. This is something you're interested in doing. Some of you are not going to be telling anyone what it is that you're doing either. You may just up and go do it. Or if you're not going anywhere. I do feel there's travel here, though, for quite a few of you. And if you're not actually physically moving to go check this out, explore, whatever it is, um, you're going to just keep quiet about it, okay? There's gonna, this is the beginning of a new healing process for you. So this may be, I'm hearing for a lot of you, this may be like the last, I don't want to say test. I keep hearing step, last step in a process of healing something that you've dealt with for a long time. Okay. And I'm getting inner child really hearing that something that happened when you were, you know, when your parents were raising you, whatever parents mean to you, grandparents, whatever, um, during those formative years, something happened. You had a belief, something happened, whatever. You're healing from that, okay? So if it, say it was abandonment issues, you finally have realized that what happened in the past does not necessarily have to happen now or in the future, okay? It's, you're healing from it, whatever it is. And that's really good. That's really good. You're also, you've got a lot of hope here for the future. And that is the most important thing to have, okay? Is to have that sense of hope, that wonderful feeling that of excitement of what tomorrow can bring to you. And you knowing and trusting that you've got a bright future in front of you, no matter how old, how young you are, okay? Um, male or female, you've got a bright future in front of you because you're choosing to focus on what you want out of life instead of just going along to get along or being a, a doormat for people, okay? I don't see too many of you doing that, but I do have... Cross watchers, channel fans, so there are, you know, we're a mix of all types of um, energies, and we're not all the exact same. Thank goodness. I'd hate to see more than one of me out there. <laughs> okay, I'm not taking these cards because I was just getting, oops, thought I turned that off, sorry. Give me just a second to turn it off so it won't bother us anymore. There we go. <coughs> because all of you leaving comments, that was that was the first of some comments on one of the videos. All right. So you have hope for the future. This is awesome. This is wonderful. This is actually very exciting for you guys. Okay, you're turning a page. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the world card come out here. Um, the full energy. We've already got the chariot here. Clarifying the Queen of Swords, and then you can be male or female and be in this energy, all right? This is about finding your authentic self and being able to speak your truth. And this is the card of independence here. So some of you, yeah, you're, you're striking out on your own to go do something. Learn something new. Experience something different. Something that some of you um, maybe had considered quite a bit for many years or so, 
but really didn't know how to do it because of the situation you were in. Okay, or maybe you just didn't have the courage to do it back then. Now you do. Good for you. Yeah, you're in this queen of wands energy. Um, entrepreneurship, thinking outside the box, capable of doing anything, a little bit of a risk taker here because she trusts her intuition to keep her safe. Okay, little bit of a risk taker energy there. All right, so something here about you going, striking out on your own, standing on your own two feet, trying things that you are interested in, still caring about the people in your life, still taking care of everything that you're supposed to, you know, staying grounded. But uh, yeah, this is about you doing expansion, your expansion. I love this. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the hermit energy here, please. Oh, king of swords queen of swords okay you're bringing the two pieces of yourself together we all have a good side and a dark side okay if anyone wants to deny that then you're the one in denial that's all there is to it um we all have a good and a light and a dark side, okay? And what you're doing here is intellectually, with your mind, you're coming to those understandings, all right? And you're bringing yourself into alignment with your divinity, with your divinity. You're not wearing blinders here. You see things exactly as they are, and you're accepting Okay, you're not fighting it. You're accepting the truth, the reality. You're finding your own light, your own inner strength here. Loving this. This is definitely head over heart decisions. Not letting your emotions rule you. Okay, let's clarify what the moon energy here is. What is this moon energy for my lovely Libras and everyone else? Yeah, when you align with your divinity, this is what happens. The Ten of Cups, absolute abundance, happiness, joy, feeling connected, okay? Looking to the future, knowing the future is bright. And this doesn't have to mean having a family. It can be, it's you expanding, okay? And being happy with what you're doing. Joy, okay? You've got a new perspective on how the work, the way the universe works. Beautiful energy here. Beautiful message coming out. You guys have been expanding um, in different ways. This one's new. This one is really healing, cathartic, I keep hearing. Okay, so for the chariot, we have the Hierophant and the Eight of Pentacles. There's something here about you learning, mastering something. You want to take your what you want to take something to the next level. Okay. You've been working on something in your head, maybe. Maybe spending a little bit of time on it. Um, like journaling or something, writing your ideas down, but you're ready to take it in a whole new direction, okay? Your whole, your life, so that you can go learn this, so that you can go master whatever this is. Again, I'm seeing a lot of you are, are traveling for this. You may be going to a different country to a retreat, a school, um, something along those lines, okay? But you're learning. You are definitely learning and mastering skills here and elevating and expanding. Beautiful energy here. Beautiful. Oh, look at this on the bottom of the deck. The Four of Wands. Being in alignment. You're absolutely in alignment here. And satisfaction. You're meeting your goals. You're, you're working towards your future so that you can be happy and prosperous. This is awesome. I love this. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify the strength card. All 
I'm noticing the number synchronicities. <laughs> okay, the strength card. Yeah, this is about um, taking a step back, maybe taking a break from something, someone. It, it's funny because this is my apology card, and that's why I said, like, you may be feeling like you need to apologize to somebody. Like, I'm sorry I have to focus on myself right now. And that's what you're going to do here, okay? But this card also, this stained glass window in the back, is there's someone on their knees asking for absolution, which is forgiveness of sins, even wh whether they're real sins or just ones we think we've committed in our head. You're asking for absolution. You, you are forgiving others of any trespass against you. Okay, anything that they've done wrong against you, you're absolving them of their um, guilt, whatever. Okay, but you're also asking for the same thing for yourself because we're all human. Okay, we're, we're divine having a human experience and humans are flawed and we make mistakes. We do it every single day. Okay, and you're just taking this break away from whatever this is so that you can focus your attention on healing and learning, okay? Beautiful energy there. And there's four swords. We just saw the four wands. Fours, 11, 11, being in alignment, okay? And look, this is bringing in celebrations and happiness and joy. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Page of Cups. Yes, if this message is resonating with you, Go ahead and give the message a thumbs up. If this is your message, go ahead and claim it in the comment box below or in the comments below. And I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel and join our awesome community. Uh, if you have any desire, we would love to have you. All right. Don't forget to check, check out the description box too. Lots of good information in there. All right, clarification of the Page of Cups, please. The Queen of Pentacles. See, this is about your self-worth. Knowing who you are and counting on yourself, relying on yourself. Yeah, you're, you, you have to put yourself first sometimes. You just have to do that. Okay, now this energy here is also about... Um, thinking outside the box, non-traditional um, thoughts, actions, whatever it is, it's you knowing who you are, being authentic and true to yourself, okay? I'm, I'm hearing, again, releasing any false beliefs, um, any BS rules, Okay, anything that really we were raised with so many of these ideals of what life is supposed to be like. And then all of a sudden we encounter something and it really opens our eyes to the fact that that's not reality, that that's somebody else's idea of reality, that that's not really what it is. And you you are in that healing phase now. You're seeing this, you're, you're becoming stronger, more reliable for yourself. Okay. Very good. Very, very good. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify the Seven of Swords. We got the Seven of Pentacles. Keeping this to yourself. Okay. What do you want to invest your time in? What do you want to focus on? And you're keeping this to yourself. You're, you're thinking about this. You're not talking about it. Okay. You're keeping quiet about it. The only person that may know is there's somebody, one person... And I'm getting that it's more like a friend or a sibling. It's not like a marriage, okay? But there's somebody or something that you're leaving behind that that's the only person you're going to discuss this with. And they're not going to tell anyone, okay? They have no reason to. All right. Look at this. The lovers. This could very well be... I mean, this first and foremost is about making healthy choices. What do you need to make yourself happy in this lifetime. You only get one shot at it this time, okay? You only have this shot. You, you've got to know what you want, okay? And you are seeing things from a totally different perspective after making sacrifices for quite a long time. All right, again, 
seven. I'm seeing seven, seven. This adds up to seven, okay? And then nine, that adds up to nine. And I thought I saw one more nine somewhere. Nine, the independence, okay? And then we have eight on there, the eight here, the eight here. I mean, there's just so many number synchronicities here. But we what we do have is six, seven, eight, and nine. Very linear motion, okay? Moving forward and expanding. You're heading in the right direction. I do like this. Um, for some of you, there might be somebody coming in, but I'm not really hearing much about that. So that may be one person out there that's going to have a new person coming in. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the star. Oh, it's the Queen of Wands again. You're feeling creative, taking the lead, male or female, does not matter. The difference between kings and queens is the masculine and divine, or the divine masculine, divine feminine, the energy, okay? Queens receive as well as give or take. Give. They receive, they, they can accept as well as give. Whereas kings are more about only being able to give, okay? They're, they uh, give orders, they give direction, they give love, attendance, devotion, whatever. They're all about the giving. They're not really big on needing to be given, okay? Women and feminine energy, it's about being softer, receptive, expansive, Okay, growing, birthing. We have the Queen of Wands here who is, first, she embodies the entrepreneurial spirit. I said that already. Okay, so whatever is happening here, I, I'm hearing most of you, this is a healing process. You're learning how to heal yourself. You're not necessarily doing anything to learn so that you can create a job from it. But then this just came out and she did show up earlier. So your intention was to heal. However, in this healing process, there someone may have said to you, you, you might want to do this. And this is triggering an idea in your head on how you can help others heal. All right, so you may be, excuse me, you may be starting your own business. A, a life coach, um, somehow you're guiding and helping people to repair, heal, fix, elevate, expand. Okay, so any type of uh, life purpose, job, career, whatever you want to call it, that does that, that helps other people, okay, is what you've got, is what you're doing, the idea that came to you. Oh, crud, I did it again. All right, we're going to just shuffle, shuffle, shuffle and see what ends up on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Judgment. <laughs> You're releasing the past. You're healing from it. Okay, you are being reborn. This is wonderful. This is really, really good. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have here. Four of Cups. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups in the world. I knew the world card was going to come out here at some point. You are refusing to accept things the same old way. Not doing it. Putting putting your burdens down, saying, I, I am releasing it. I'm not going to carry it with me anymore. I'm choosing to be abundant and happy. And you are opening up the world. You're ending one cycle and entering a new one. You're going to be successful with this. This is, I mean, incredible. This is beautiful. You're, see the expansion here of the, I I forget what these are called. Um, All I can think of is the uh, Merkaba and the Hexa. Mm, can't even think of what it's called now. But this is about the universe, okay? That expansion, like your understanding. Your soul is free to understand, to accept, to use, enjoy, um, be happy and grateful and just understand how things really truly work and you're expanding. I love this. Absolutely love this message for you guys. Oh, 
They told me to pick the enchanted map today. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what message comes out here with the enchanted map oracle messages. <clears throat> Excuse me. My sinuses are really rocking today. I apologize. Sage is outside the window chasing critters, trying to eat lizards. Boy, those things are psychedelics to cats. Didn't know that. Deep Freeze, card 26, which is 8. The Infinity. All right, and 29, coming to life. Yes, this is exactly what you're doing. I mean, don't these two energies look very similar? That expansion, that just joy of life, happiness. Let's see what... uh. They just the one liners from this, unless spirit tells me I need to read more. Everything has its season. Now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest. Okay, so it is focusing on that. The cold winter beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom. It's time for regeneration and hibernation. This is all about you in this healing process, okay. Forego ambitious activity until you're healed. A pregnant pause allows ideas to gestate, projects to shift and change, and relationships to go through a dreamy state of being, not going anywhere, not needing to. This is also a time to put all your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any of them. Self-care is the most important activity right now, so reflect Read a book, get a massage, rest and dream. Go through this healing process. It will reward you huge later on. All right, <clears throat> coming to life. Something beautiful is being born in your life. When you look at your life, can you see how you've grown and evolved over time? Perhaps you've shed skins and identities and created new ones or at the very least, matured into your ideas about yourself and the world that you inhabit. This, <laughs> it's all about that. This message is all about that. Okay, this card indicates that a long-held dream is beginning to show signs of life. You must try not to coax it along or shape it according to your desires. Spirit knows the best form for the manifestation of this dream, and your life can become even better than you could possibly imagine, okay? So go through whatever it is here, okay? And then when in divine timing, Spirit will let you know when to move on this. Now is the time for reverence and awe. <laughs> I think I said that. Allow the con contours of your path to be carved by the hands of the divine, all you have to do is show up. I mean, you can't ask for a better closing to this reading, all right? Until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.